Hi beauties, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time finding me. I am always happy to have you. We're going to be updating my stash today. It has been the usual couple weeks. I think it might have been a little bit longer at this point. Um, I was not very good about wearing makeup this past week. I've been off of work for a week and just not really doing a whole lot. Except for, you know, putting around the house, things like that. We put, uh, my dad helped us put a new floor in. We've been like tearing down the wallpaper that's in our kitchen, which has more and more wallpaper underneath it. So it's been a task. Anyway, <laughs> I just have been kind of busy the past week or so, but putting on makeup where I can. Um, so let's just get into it. I mean, before we do that, you know, I would love to have you subscribe, stick around for some more. I'd love to see you again chat with you, you know, you know all the stuff to do. Like, subscribe, turn on the bell if you really like me. Um, I swatched everything in my last stash update, so probably not going to do swatches today unless I feel really compelled to show you something. Let's jump into what is on top here. So my... My Glow Lust, I have been using like crazy. I mean, to the point where I kept this primer in. I kept my Wet n Wild primer in and I did not use the primer once. <laughs> I've been using this every single time I do my makeup as my primer. And honestly, like these two together, my Glow Lust and then the Clinique Super Balanced Foundation, it's what I'm wearing today. I think it is such a beautiful, like flawless base. I have been loving it. Nothing bad to say about either of those things. Uh, this Clinique foundation is actually very quickly becoming, I think, I never noticed this before, but I'm just kind of seeing it now through the bottle. I think I'm actually about halfway through this already, but that is quickly becoming one of my absolute favorite foundations. I used my Say, whatever this is called, Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. I only used this once. Again, I just have been obsessed with that Glow Lust. I like this. Really nothing bad to say about this. I'm not a huge fan of the way it smells, but it does give a really nice, like, hydrated, glowy base for your makeup. My makeup wears fine over this. No issues. Um, shadows. So I threw in my Oryx Singles. This time around, I have Ego, which I filmed with. This is her grayish silver color. And then I have Temper, which is like the rose gold shade she came out with. I wore Temper actually quite a bit. I wore this at least two or three times uh, on its own. Like I said, I filmed with Ego. These are just beautiful. I mean, I'm sure you've seen people review these. I think that they wear so well. I loved, I don't know that I've put a whole lot of single shadows in my stash, but I typically just do eye shadow palettes, but I loved having these in. Like these were so, just so easy. You throw on the cream with your finger. You can throw on the shimmer with your finger for just a really quick, easy, but still very beautiful, like, one and done look. I've been so into that and I really enjoyed using those. I had my Natasha Denona mini Zendo palette. I used this only once having it in my stash but 
I mean, I've used this plenty of times. I know how I feel about it. I adore it. All these shadows just work so nicely together. I think it's just such a beautifully condensed little color story. What is this? Is this called a quint? What is this called when it's five? Five is quint, right? I don't know. But yes, love this. Love the quality. And then the last palette I had in here was my Sigma Enchanted. So how many times did I use this? I might have only used this twice. I might only have used this twice. Um, I used one of the matte shadows today on my eyes. To be honest with you, I'm not fully in love with this eye look. Um, thank God for the Pat McGrath shadows that I that I incorporated into this look because I don't know, like I love I love the color story of this palette, right? I I love this color story. The shimmers are beautiful. There's so many just like um, multi-dimensional type shadows in here, shadows that are have sort of like a, a flip to them and different lights. I mean, there there really are some pretty shades in here. Hopefully you can see those. So the shimmers were fine, but I struggled with some of these mattes. I did. I and I don't really feel like that's typical for me. I'm not I'm not by any means a makeup artist. I'm pretty average with my skills, but I don't typically have an issue like that. And especially like as I'm thinking about my other Sigma palette, my Corderosa palette, I do not have those issues. Like that palette, everything blends beautifully and that just wasn't the case with these like especially these like darker shades here which one did I use today I used claystone today in my crease and I struggled struggled getting that to blend I, I don't know it's just I don't know if it's like the same Sigma quality in that palette which I'm gonna keep using it I like it but it just was like kind of disappointing to me because I was so excited to get that palette like it's something that I had wanted for a really really long time you know and it just didn't didn't stand up to what I thought it would be but it's pretty uh, concealer I had my fit me concealer in here this concealer has to be new. I forgot that I bought, um, I've gone through at least a couple of these tubes over the years, but I forgot that I did buy a new one. I was like, oh, I'll be able to finish this. No, there's a ton of product in here, but I love this concealer. I love this color. I'm in the shade light. I just think it does a good job of brightening things up. It's not too full coverage. I'm not into like a super heavy concealer under my eyes. Um, yeah, I just like it. I don't feel like it creases terribly throughout the day. Uh, moving on. Oh, let me just, I'll just show you the powder I used. I mean, you know how I feel about my e.l.f. powder. Of Halo Glow. I only use this under my eyes. It works wonderfully. However, does anybody use this on their whole face? Can you set your whole face with this? I don't really ever set my whole face, okay? But I just got some stuff from Pat McGrath and I did get her um, all over setting powder the perfect sublime perfection setting powder and i used it today i used it on my whole face um 
I don't know. I don't have an opinion about it yet, but if I like it, I might try setting my face. So like with other stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if this is something that you could, but this looks beautiful on the under eye. It does give you a little bit of a glow. It doesn't crease. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. Just love it. And it's super affordable. Okay, so face. What did I have in here? Uh, my bronzers, my Nabla skin bronzing in Dune. This is beautiful. It just, it's so nice on the skin. I have it layered over my Huda. This is her tan tour. I got the shade light. I think I shared that with you last time. I think I shared with you what shade I got, but this is it. Um, I love the tone of it. It is more of like a warm toned bronzer, but it does not pull too orange on me. It is super, super pigmented, but in spite of that, it is extremely easy to blend. Like hardly any elbow grease, any effort, you can get this to blend. It's lovely. I'm wearing it today. And then I also had my Charlotte Tilbury face palette in here. I I think the only I think I used everything this go round but the bronzer. I did use these two blushes. This one here is pretty dark. It's pretty dark. So I went very, very light handed. It looks, it looked nice, like mixed together with this blush. Does give you a really, really nice glow. Um, I actually have, I have this light, this lighter shade here. I have it mixed, uh, you know, laid on top of another blush I'm wearing. And then this highlight is beautiful. This gold highlight here lovely um this is actually the highlight i'm wearing today my revlon skin lights in daybreak glimmer beautiful beautiful um drugstore just kind of light champagne color love it now this blush is working its way up the ranks to be one of my favorites. This, I have another one of these. I have the Pink Gasm. This is Peach Gasm. And this is so pretty. Um, again, it just gives you a really, like look at that shade. Oh, I'll try to blend it out for you. It just gives you the most subtle, beautiful, like healthy glow to your cheeks. It's extremely easy to blend. Again, hardly any effort. You just, I just very lightly tap it in. It's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. I like this shade a little bit more than I like the pink one, but yeah, I used this blush a ton. This is probably what, what other blush did I have in here? Oh, 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 I did use this once. <laughs> I used the blush and the highlight in this palette once. This is the BH BFF face palette. I used the highlight as an inner corner highlight. I did use the blush. I think I actually used the blush on camera. I think I filmed with that. And I did not use the bronzers. I didn't. I've used them before, but I'm probably going to put that palette back. And what else did I have? Um, mascaras. You know, I've been using my Lancome uh, Lash Idol. I love this stuff. I'm actually not wearing this today. I decided to open my, my Essence the false lashes extreme volume and curl this is what i'm wearing today i think it looks lovely i love essence mascaras every single one i've tried has been incredible 
This is the lip I'm wearing today, the NYX Lingerie XXL. I have the shade Flaunt It. Um, I have it actually layered with, so you can't really see like the, the true, true color of it. I apologize. I have it layered with this guy. This is one of the L'Oreal lips I pulled in. This is Be Determined. Um, these were actually really pretty. I wore all of my lips. I wore these. These are the two L'Oreal ones I brought in. I wore them on their own. I wore them layered over either just a lip liner or this liquid lipstick. I had Be Determined and then this other one is Be Uncontrollable, which is a little bit more like pink toned. Um, I really liked these. I was kind of surprised. I didn't know that I would like them. They do not dry all the way down to a matte. They are supposed to be a little bit more glossy from what I can determine just based on how they wore. Um, but they wore really, really well. Like for being a glossier lip, they stayed on for a majority of the day. And this too. I mean, this NYX, this wears beautifully eating, masks, all that. It's great. Um, and then my Milani, I am bold. I filmed with this, wore this in a video with that ego shadow. It is a lovely, lovely, bold, bright pink. Um, and then I think that's it. The only other thing that I used that I wanted to talk about was the Fenty, what it do. Um, I don't know, what can you say about setting sprays? <laughs> like, I don't think that this does anything for like the longevity of my makeup and I don't think that it's supposed to. So that's not like a knock on it. Um, it smells great, it feels great on my skin, it's refreshing, um, it does uh, does make me a little bit dewy, but I don't think it's too much. I don't feel like halfway through the day I look like a, a grease ball or anything. So I like it. Um, and I think that's everything that I used. I think that's everything I need to recap and let's go pick some new stuff out. Okay, you guys, welcome to my stash again. Um, let's do some shopping. <laughs> Funny enough, uh, it's actually two days later. Life gets away from you pretty quickly here. Um, let's choose my base. What do I want to use? I didn't end up using this at all. Like I said, I used my Auric. Let's get rid of those lip glosses. Um, what do I want to do? My Fenty, I do love my Fenty base. Maybe I want to do that. This one I've got some, ooh, something spilled here. Let's use this one. A powder, what do I want to do? I know that I want to pull this in. I showed this to you guys, I think I did. Um, I got the Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. This is like an all-over setting powder. I got light medium too. I want to give that a little bit more use. Um, and something for my under eye. I could probably use that, honestly. But, um, you know, what? sorry, I know this is boring, but I'm going to keep my elf in. I actually kind of like the way those two look and wear together. Concealer. Let's pull the Neutrogena. This is the Radiant Cream Concealer. Let's pull that back in. And lastly, foundation. What do I want to do? been thinking about my flower. I kind of want to do my flower light illusion. Um, let's do that. And I want to get more use out of my Fenty matchstick. I have the shade bamboo. So let's do that. And let's do which shade? I 
of classic tan M3. Whatever. We're just gonna we're just gonna pull them both in here. Okay, moving down. I don't know if you guys can actually notice, but this drawer is looking much better in my opinion. Um, it actually it looked better before I had to put all of the stuff from my stash back in. Now it looks kind of disorganized again, but I took some time and I went through everything this week and I'm a little bit less uh, anxious when I open it. Um, bronzer, you know, I think what I want to do for bronzer, I cannot stop thinking about my Fenty. My Fenty Cream Bronzer. I have it in Macchiato. This is the second one that I have used. I already have a pretty good dent in this one. I completely panned another one. This is like honestly probably my favorite cream bronzer uh, of all time. I mean despite the other ones that I've even tried and really liked recently. So I want to use that. Um, I do kind of like having a powder option in there as well. So let's do this. I should have just grabbed this while I was in here. I'm going to do the Too Faced uh, Sweethearts Bronzer, the Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer. I have Sweet Tea. We're going to get some use out of that. Let me organize a little bit here. Sorry. Oh, okay. Just in a way that's not quite as cluttered. Um, blush. What do I want to do? I, I probably am going to pull in a face palette too. But as far as blush here, what do I want to do? I kind of want to use my Vive blushes again. I'm going to pull in both of these. I have Pesca and I have Cherub. So Pesca is this super pretty like apricot, orangish type shade. And then Cherub is this pink. Love these blushes. Let's do those. And then I do want to have, oh god, I have blush over here too. <laughs> I forgot. I have two things of blush now. Um, I want to pull in either some Fenty or some Flower Beauty. I don't think I've used my Flower Beauty in a while. I don't think it's been in my stash for quite some time. So let's do these. Let's do let's do cinnamon here. More of like a neutral color. We'll do that and highlight. What do I want to do? Like I said, I'm going to pull in a face palette, so odds are that will have a highlighter in it. You know what? I want to try this. I got this recently, and I haven't used it yet. It's brand new. It's the Milani, one of their baked highlighters. I have the shade Dolce Perla. I'll do a few swatches for you guys once this is all over here, but that's it. Super pretty. It almost looks a little bit like a light pink champagne-y type shade, so we'll do that. And then we'll see what face palette I what do I want to use. I've used the Natasha Denona recently. I have Pixie under there. That's the Denessa Myricks. Charlotte Tilbury, I just put away. These are my house labs. Okay, I think out of all of these, the one that I would like to use the most is my Denessa Myricks. This is light work, um, but that at least gives me some highlight options. So we'll do that. And let's see if there's anything lip-wise I want to pull in here. 
Let's pull this in. This is a new, brand new Pat McGrath gloss I got. Yikes, that's so small. What does that say? This is um, Wicked Whisper. This is one of her Lust glosses. Let's do that. Um, and you know what? I have not used these yet. These are the Milani... Um, Oh, what's the actual name? Matte lip, sorry, matte lip crayons. I have two different shades. I have the shade So Obsessed, sorry, that's not focusing. And then this pink is V Cute. So let's try these. I, in general, love Milani lip products. I love their ludicrous glosses. So let's pull these in too. So that gives me a pink and then a couple pink and a couple neutrals to work with. Okay, are there any lipsticks that I want to use? Let's do eyes and if I want to come back to this I will. Okay, I pulled these palettes out real quick. These are the little nine pans from BH, their Say It collection that they came out with. So do not disturb low key like you or low-key love you yeah sorry <laughs> low-key love you and then I have the fuck off one I don't know I don't think these are the tones that I'm really in the mood for right now mm. going back and forth between these two they're both I guess I can just open both of them um, they're both super pretty. Mm. I don't know. I just have kind of been more into like neutrals recently. So let's do this one. I'm going to pull in the low key love you. I just, yeah, I'm into these warm tones right now. And let's do... Let's do one other palette and let's maybe find like a couple singles too. And palettes. I think I want to do, I can get this open for you. I just recently got this. Oh, what is this? Her shit always has such long names. Um, do, 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 do. Interstellar Icon. Okay, let's do that. Again, more just sort of neutral shades. I've got a pop of blue. And then singles. So, do I want to pull this in? Yes, let's pull in Charlotte Tilbury Oyster Pearl. And maybe just like one. Mm, do I want like a moss? Let's pull in mycelium. Mycelium from the Raw Beauty Christie collab. Let's do that. I think that'll serve me well these next couple weeks. Okay, let's do some quick swatches. Okay, let's do some quick swatching here. Again, not going to swatch everything, just kind of the things that I think will be fun for you guys to see. This is that... Milani highlighter in Dolce Perla. Ooh, that's pretty. Very pearlescent. Okay. I think I heard Jessica Braun talk about this. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people talk about this, but I'm pretty sure that's who I saw talk about it. Made me want to buy it. This is the Danessa Myricks palette. I'm not going to swatch all these for you. I'll swatch a couple ones that I will probably be using. There's those three there. I have used this highlighter palette in the past. It's been in my stash. It's, it's lovely. It's fun to use. These darker shades, um, 
not really for me as highlighters but that would make like a super pretty inner corner highlight if I wanted something gold that I could probably get away with as a highlight but yeah excited to use that bronzer real quick just in case you've never seen this swatched out like I said this is macchiato Ugh, I am so excited to use that so excited to use that again used to be like all I used about a year ago and then this is the Too Faced I know I just recently swatched that out for you in another video but there's that in the cream those are gonna look so good together and separate blushes this is flower beauty and cinnamon so I've started putting together a video in which I'm going to there's cinnamon lovely in which I'm going to rank all of my cream blushes and I'm so excited to do that. I'll probably film that this week. That is Vive Cherub. That is a blush color that I really don't wear a lot. Not my choice of blush, but it's so pretty. And then this is Pesca. This is my favorite. Oh, okay. There's those... Yeah, that'll give me a good range. I'm excited about those. Let's do lips. This is the Pat McGrath Wicked Whisper. Very opaque, very glossy. It does smell kind of like vanilla-y, cupcake-y kind of. This is the Milani Ludacris Lip Crayon. What did I say this was? So obsessed. Oh, okay. Sort of a reddish, chocolatey brown there. And then this is V Cute. A little bit of a berry tone, okay. Those feel really, really nice and like silky smooth swatching them, so. Hopefully that bodes well as to how they'll feel on the lips. This is Mycelium. I actually just wore this yesterday. I actually wore, so I wore Mycelium with this layered on top of my Charlotte Tilbury. And it was so pretty. That's kind of what <laughs> made me want to pull it in. This go round. So there's Mycelium. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Oyster Pearl. This is so hard to get my nail into, but it's just a little bit more of like a, like a cool toned brown. Hopefully that's picking up there in this light, but yeah, I love this. This is actually, this is just, this is such a nice base for shadows too. Like even if I wanted to just use that as a base and put... Um, if I wanted to put one of these shadows on top, if I wanted to put like this color on top or this color, I think that would look really nice. Let's swatch. Um, I used this palette actually the other day. And it's beautiful. This shade right here though. Oh my gosh where can I swatch these mm. let's try it right here there's that this shade is super pretty too so there's that quad right there interstellar icon yes and then Loki love you even think I've I think I've just swatched like a couple of the shimmers here but 
red, like straight up red eyeshadow is not something that I typically go for, but let's, I don't know. I'll, um, I'll be, ooh, I'll be curious to sort of see how these perform. I don't doubt that they will be lovely like the BH shadows we know. But yeah, I'm excited to get some use out of that too. So let's get this stuff put away, y'all. <laughs> 